G'day aspiring engineers. Today we're up to 13 out of 16 beginners tutorials uh, for part modeling in Fusion 360. Stick around. Well, if you're new, I'm Arnold. And if you're thinking of a career in manufacturing or engineering as a professional or as a hobbyist, then make a start by subscribing and click on that bell notification icon. Uh, you can follow along much better if you download the, uh, the 16 uh, drawings in the PDF and the link is below. Right, let's get started. Click on the uh, origin of the document uh, to turn on the, the reference planes. Right click high up in the screen, sketch, create sketch. Click on a reference plane and away we go. So I'm going to hit the L key for the line tool. Fairly basic dumb solid. Horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Mouse over the, of the origin, the first part, point that we clicked and then finish off down there. Oop, that little green tick gets in the way sometimes, doesn't it? Let's use the dimension tool to make a few, put a few sizes on this thing. The height of it is 47. Uh, the width of it is uh, is 80. And then uh, this bit up here has to be 20. Well, not 200, just 20. You can easily uh, edit these things. And this little part down here, what's that? 12. Now, go back to the select tool using the S key. And now we can probably drag that around. And uh, for a strategy here, I think it's going to be really neat if we could have that right on that point there, on that upper corner of this feature here. And you'll see where that comes in handy shortly. And uh, now that we've got our dump solid pretty much in shape, let's hit the E key and uh, the profile can be extruded. And in this case, we want to keep that thing right in the center of the part. So a good idea would be to make the direction symmetric and the distance uh, will be uh, 100, but uh, because it's symmetric, we'll type in 50, and we get, one, get 50 either side makes a total of 100. And uh, so right click, sketch, create sketch, and I'm going to make the sketch on the very back of the part here. There's an arc tool that would be really nifty to use at this point. So what I'll do is I'll put in AR, and we've got the center point arc right there. Don't want to necessarily have that in my shortcuts menu for next time but I'll just pick that in the list and then uh, start by clicking once on the point of origin off to one side around until we get to the, uh, the thing. and that's enough for a uh, for a profile in Fusion 360. The next thing I want to do is hit the R key for rectangle and then I'm going to place a corner down there one a little bit higher another one over here now look they're completely different but uh, we'll use uh, geometric constraints to sort this out. Hit the S key, I want to use the select tool. Uh, I want to make sure that the top of each of those little rectangles are the same. They're going to be equal and select them both again. I want them also to be collinear. A couple of uh, dimensional constraints. So the width of these things is 17 according to our drawing. So they're both the same now there. And let's put the, uh, the height of these things, which is supposed to be 6. Last thing we want to do here before we finish with this sketch is to put the radius on the curve. And the radius here is 20. Let's hit the E key. And uh, we've got a few different sketches here in the one sketch. So I'm going to select that one, that one, and that one. I didn't have to hold down the shift key to get those. Uh, and the distance here is going to be, well... Uh, I'm going to make it through all, but in the other direction, and uh, then OK that. Didn't quite get to the all, did we? So let's uh, go back to the uh, to the feature, right click, edit the feature, and let's see what went wrong here. OK, so the direction, the distance, uh, it, I didn't quite get that all. So there we go, click OK, and uh, that's what we wanted. Uh, let's do a chamfer next. So uh, hit the S key and there's the chamfer tool. I've got that in my shortcut menu there. And uh, the edges that we want to chamfer are this one and this one. 
uh, we want to change that so that we've got uh, not equal distance or distance angle but two distances because our drawing has two distances on these chamfers right here and the first one is the one that's got the arrow highlighted and that's got a distance of 4 and the next one has a distance of 12 and we'll OK that and those are the chamfers that we wanted there OK, the next thing we want to learn to do is put a rib. We've got two ribs to go on here, so what I'll do is uh, start a sketch, create sketch, and I want to do it on this, right on the, uh, the side of the part. I'm going to hit the L key for the line tool, anywhere there to this little corner down here, um, and uh, just going to hit the stop sketch thing, which is nice and handy right there. I hit the right click menu, uh, go down to, let's see, is it create? Yes, it's on create, and there it is rib and here we just have to select uh, the profile change the thickness option to from symmetric to one direction uh, and the, the thickness of this rib is 15 uh, it needs a minus sign in front there because it's going the wrong way and then we just click OK there's one of the ribs now we hit the right click again go to create and then uh, on the create menu down low we can see mirror and uh, we're going to choose a mirror we're choosing faces bodies we're actually choosing features that's what we need objects let's select the uh, the feature the rib in the feature tree down the bottom of the screen the mirror plane use the select tool and here's a good reason why we have our point of origin in the middle of the part uh, we can just pick on that reference plane and you can see the shadow of the mirror feature. Click OK and there it is. We've got one more feature to do and so we'll need a sketch. Sketch, create sketch. Click on this top face of this feature then uh, right click sketch and there's a slot uh, here with a bunch of options on it. We'll go for overall slot. Then uh, just simply draw it on the uh, on the front face of the, the sketch there. Move the mouse to give width of the slot Hit the D key for the dimension tool and we'll get the curve at one end here and you can see that the radius of this curve is supposed to be 5 and most of our slots done. So I'm going to use the uh, dimension tool to put a dimension on here that's supposed to be that's 30. Uh, then we've got uh, from one point of origin of the curve to the other curve that one is a uh, distance of 40. Let's make sure that we've got this thing in the centre. So on the point of origin of one of the curves to the point of origin of the document, that one is 20. And uh, now that feature needs to be extruded. So I'll hit the E key, choose the profile, and get it going in the correct direction, and make the distance to all, and OK. So now our part's complete. You can turn off the, uh, the point of origin if you don't want to see that there. and. Uh, our part's done. Look out for the next one. See you then.